Okay, what are we doing? You want to tell everybody what we're doing? It's your video. You're on the tractor. You tell them what you're doing. You are the long-winded one. We're going to use the brush hog implement for the first time. The pastures are way overgrown and we need some pathways. Plus we need to clear out some space to do goat fencing so we can unroll the goat fencing and actually get it stretched out and flipped up the way we need. Yeah. This is a brush hog. It's like a giant lawnmower. Right? You should look at the camera when you're talking. That's, that's nice. I'm at the camera while I'm talking. There. There's okay. nice. Okay. <laughs> I don't like it when you do that because you do it so that it goes like <laughs> right up your nose. Well, that's a, that's a little closer than, than I usually do it. <laughs> I don't really care to show the world my nose hairs. Are you going to be able to get out without hitting stuff? We'll see. Keep going. Okay. Don't hit me though. I don't know if he's cutting anything. I don't think he's cutting anything. Apparently we don't want to cut my yard. <laughs> I would have thought that that would be a good way to test it, but let's just leave the yard as long as it can be. It's full of bugs. Maybe you'd like to cut your compost. <laughs> This spot I mowed with the push mower, not the brush hog. The paths, the short paths out here that were already out here to our goat barn and our horse trailer, I had done with the riding lawn mower. I don't like to do that because sticks and rocks and unpredictable terrain can damage that riding lawnmower a little bit more than the brush hog of course. Those paths I mowed with the riding lawnmower I did for the benefit of our goats. When it's wet out here the goats really don't like to walk up to the, to the covered patio in the back of our house where we've been doing the milking right, right now. It's a lot easier to move the goats if the grass is short and wet than if it's tall and wet. Yeah, for those of you who think that Brian does all the work, let me tell you, Brian has all the, all the automation and I have all the manual labor. Look at me, I'm manually walking while he's riding his tractor. He's up there just sitting because he wants to talk to you. long-winded explanation. <laughs> Nothing, I'm just telling them that there will be a long-winded explanation. <laughs> no long-winded explanation. You're rolling backwards. There we go. <laughs> are you sure you know how to drive this thing? Apparently the brakes are kind of the, questionable at this point. The brakes are working just fine, thank you very much. <laughs> All I have to do is put my foot on them. <laughs> That's pretty easy to remember. <laughs> so when you went to go talk to people, you forget to leave your foot on them is what you're saying. No, no. I just turned the camera off so we could hear our witty repartee. Are you driving a camera? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. So, did, let's see. Did you tell them that I tried to prepare a little bit by moving out 
logs and branches and snipping back cedars that were kind of growing in my way. He came up here and he pulled everything out that he would have needed to pull out in order to mow the lawn. So I did tell him that he didn't need to do that. Did you do it anyways? I did it anyways. <laughs> I want to be careful here. I don't want to break it on the first time. And I'm not sure I got everything. There's probably rocks. I'm and sure there, out there is because it's it's deep. Yes. Ideally, you would have done this right when you got it. Yeah. But why didn't you do that? There are other things going on. No, that's not why you didn't do it. <laughs> there, are, there are a lot of other things going on. It didn't have anything to do with the fact that the post hole digger was what the guy left on for you. And so I, you honestly, didn't want to take it off. I honestly thought I'd be using the post hole way before we used the brush hog. But now we need the brush hog, obviously, to even see what we're doing out there. <laughs> yes, and I kept telling him, you're going to wait, and then you're not going to be able to get any fence up there, and then you're going to have to brush hog, and he didn't want to take the post hole digger off, because yeah. then he'd have to figure out how to get this thing on and get that thing off. And There's a lot to it. There's a lot <laughs> to it when you, when you haven't done it before, when you haven't been raised around this kind of equipment, so we're learning. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning. Okay. It's a lot of big, heavy machinery, so I pick on them, but it's it's not it's not for the faint of heart. Let's put it that way. Yes, he runs away, runs away, goats. Maybe you stay in there for now, because some of you are brave. They're dead. Yeah, this will be nice for my goats too because now they can get to the good stuff down here. It's still really pretty deep, Brian. Yeah, I put it on the highest setting. Just, uh, just be careful. Yeah, well, now I'm worried that I'm walking through this and I'm like gonna get bit by a snake or... <laughs> get okay. too tough. I'm gonna do a big loop going down and around.
talked to the camera for 15 minutes and nobody was there. It wasn't recording. Well, I didn't know it wasn't recording already. I just did. I talked to all about the goats and I showed you a whole bunch of cute goat stuff and you weren't there. <laughs> Because he turned it off when he handed it to me. How rude! Alright, I ran over a few bushes that I hadn't clipped back and actually took those things out pretty well. Obviously rocks really would dull the blades and cause some problems. It's hard to see them in the tall grass, but I think we've decided we're gonna go ahead and lower the brush hog and just do that loop again, just to make it shorter. And, uh, and then we've got a few other paths out here that we need to do. Do something? No, it's okay. You're recording? Yeah. Okay. I have to lift this thing and get the bolt through. Got that lined up to do that. It just needs to wiggle a little bit more. It was in there. I could see it on the other side. Then you moved it. It's going at an angle. Well, you moved it. There you go. Yeah, this grass is a lot better now because much better. Now, a high. what? Does it look a high? No, it looks better now. It's it's high, but it's not. It's like foot height. Okay. I think he's doing the other side of the fence. You can see how deep this was. get in here in this spot and just pull some out to feed the boy goats and stuff so hopefully they can start getting used to eating something besides dry hay a little bit at a time this is my thought anyway is just give them a little bit to taste Didn't sound good. Uh oh. What? Did it come? Did you run over a T post? We must have knocked over a T post. Yep. Did you, did you get that on camera? Yeah, so you're swearing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I hit a T post. I thought I was being so careful. Coming right along the fence line, see? And I... Well, it sways I, some behind you, so you need to be more careful with it, not it, getting so close, yes. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna lift the thing up. And go forward. And we'll see what kind of damage there is. It looks like it's bent a little bit already right there. Yep. You're going to have to get out from over top of it to really see it. The middle is definitely damaged. Yeah. It's whether or not the whole blade has been damaged is the problem. It also looks like it's coming off from the thing now. Well, yeah, that's where it's bent. Well, 
Only way I can go is forward. Yeah, that's what I said. Is you just need to pull it forward and go slow. And try not to run over the other depots next to it because it's fishtailed way out here. So. Shoot up metal. Let's put that one side. <laughs> well, maybe you just need to drop it and see if it runs then. If you don't see anything come apart, you're going to do a lot of bleeping on this video. <laughs> do you see any metal parts? The important thing is the brush hog is still working if it's not in pristine condition anymore at least. <laughs> we'll kill them a little bent. Yeah, so it's got a little yeah. tear there and it's just a little bit bent out here. I'm sure that's what they end up looking like after time though. So Yeah. But it's probably good that you did this now so you learn to steer a little bit more clear of the well, I thought it was going so well. I thought it was going so well on every other fence line. I don't know why it slid on that one. Well, it was moving back and forth the whole time. I think you just weren't seeing it. Mm. Okay. I did kick that around a little bit first. <laughs> Make sure there's no snakes in it. Ah! He's chasing me. He's chasing me. <laughs> Do you want some? Does it look good? Is it good? Mm, scary tractor. Tractor. Oh, the brave girl. I know. I know. I do like the way these paths look. It's nice. This path, of course, leads right into our buck pen area, our future buck pen area. And we'll have a gate here. Overall, I'm happy with how the brush hog worked. I just wish I was a better operator with it.
At least that replacement T-post was easy to pound in because I was following the old hole. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.